We cannot risk becoming a magnet for the millions of people who are displaced and seeking better economic prospects. Many of our European partners are struggling with the same issue. Belgium, Ireland, Germany and France are having to take similar steps, and the UK must adapt to this changing context. I've said before that we have to suffuse our entire system with deterrence, and this must include how we house illegal migrants. So today the Government is announcing the first tranche of sites we will set up to provide basic accommodation at scale. The Government will use military sites being disposed of in Essex and Lincolnshire and a separate site in East Sussex. These will be scaled up over the coming months and will collectively provide accommodation to several thousand asylum seekers through repurposed, repurposed barrack blocks and porter cabins. In addition, my right honourable friend the Prime Minister is showing leadership on this issue by bringing forward proposals to provide accommodation at Catterick Garrison Barracks in his constituency. And we're continuing to explore the possibility of accommodating migrants in vessels as they are in Scotland and in the Netherlands. Madam Deputy Speaker, I want to be clear. These sites on their own will not end the use of hotels overnight. But alongside local dispersal and other forms of accommodation, which we will bring forward in due course, they will relieve pressure on our communities and they will manage asylum seekers in a more appropriate and cost-effective way. Of course, we recognise the concerns of local residents, and we are acutely aware of the need to minimise the impact of these sites on communities. Basic healthcare will be available, around-the-clock security will be provided on site, and our providers will work closely with local police and other partners. Funding will be provided to local authorities in which these sites are located. Madam Deputy Speaker, these sites are undoubtedly in the national interest. We have to deliver them if we are to stop the use of hotels. We have to deliver them to save the British public from spending eye-watering amounts accommodating illegal migrants. And we have to deliver them to prevent a pull factor for economic migrants on the continent taking hold. Madam Deputy Speaker, inaction is not an option. The British people rightly want us to tackle illegal migration. As I've set out today, we are doing exactly that. And I commend this statement to the House.